Matt, I'll tell you what. When I heard about your divorce, it made me sick to my I, damn dude, I'm stomach. Telling you, I think my, my dad judges me, I think. Does he really? <laughs> not, not to my face, but he'll be like, you know, that guy, he's on his third wife, obviously. And I'm like, I'm on my oh, fucking second, bro. What the a fuck? second. Chill. Come on, bro. He said third to you before? And he's like, you guys have been married three times, obviously. Fucking <laughs> I'm like, dude, what the fuck, man? All right, whatever guy who's been married three times. <laughs> All right, what kind of insult is that? Hey, dude, oh, <laughs> It's like my dad just like constantly talks to me about how annoying go- girls are, and then he's like, hey, "This guy's been divorced like three times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what the fuck? Like, no, I get his point. I do. I no, get his point. I'm it's sorry. Like, I shouldn't have brought a divorce. I was just joking. No, dude, I don't care at all. Gerby's. I don't care at all. But Gerby's it's, is oh, It's all right. Gerby's is like, I'm fucking out of here. That's all right. Yeah. But yeah, no, it is fine. I've noticed my dad has a tick. That's one of his ticks. If like if a dude had multiple wives, he's just like <laughs> weirdo. Yeah, he didn't stick it out like the rest <laughs> of us. Went through hell. Yeah. They still battle, dude. Of course, they still battle. Can you imagine? It's dude. It's so fucking funny. Watching them, watching them go at it is just like how. What what is there to fight about? Bill told me about a fight recently. Yeah, man. Billy stoked the flames. Yeah, they got my mom fired up. I don't know, dude. It's, I don't, it's like they'll like both fuck around. Him and my brother Tom will fuck with my mom, and I'm like, dude. I know. Well, that's why? a bad thing. I do. I fuck with my mom. I too. can't, dude. No, I like, like. Yeah, I can't. Well, just the way she reacts. Yeah. I can't. I can't not. And it's I do I do need to definitely. Billy stop. got a spaz out of my mom apparently. Yeah, when you get a spaz, it's terrible. It yeah, feels dude. horrible. Got an F word out of her, dude. Really? She doesn't really curse like that. Yeah, but I guess, she's, I guess I did stop. I did stop messing with her. But I will. Whenever I'm home and I see mm-hmm. her doing wild shit, mm-hmm. I'm kind of the only one that'll be like, "What are you doing? What's she up to?" Just kind of nagging people, mm. you know, enough that it's like, "Leave them alone." Yeah, yeah. Like she'll true. come in and be like, "What are you doing?" Like my dad, and I'll be like, oh, "You know what he's doing? Yeah, <laughs> he's doing the same thing he's done for sixty <laughs> fucking years. <laughs> it didn't change today." Yeah, man, that's fucking nuts. Yeah, I'm sorry. No, no part of sorry at all. So you and your 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 mommy and daddy are fighting as well. No, nah, me, just... I feel I feel sick about it when my what? mommy and daddy fight. I don't. I never see it. But I've, I've never. I've, yeah. Apparently, he fired. They have more kind of issues around, like like my, you know, it's a family business. My mom. We'll be like, here's what we should do. My dad will just, he literally the face he makes, he goes. Yeah, that's it every time, dude. <laughs> yeah. He just drops his neck and he's like, Mayor, just let me. And then he'll just be like, he does this. Yeah. It's so fucking funny. Well, yeah, that's all you can do. You can only appeal to heaven. Yeah, yeah, literally. You can yeah. only just be like, God, take this burden away from me. <laughs> I can't hit her, God. He would. I remember when we were teenagers, he got in, like, we were all in a conversion van. He was like, your mom's a fucking psycho. It was me and all my brothers. And we were just like, <laughs> he's like, she just fucking reinvents history. And then he'll, like, we'll be sitting there. He's like, I never changed a diaper in my life. I had six kids. And it's like, all right, well, fuck. <laughs> yeah, <maybe. laughs> yeah, that could do it. Yeah. That could turn a nice wife into a bit of a... You know, bit of a fucking psycho. Start to nag on you a little. Oh, I would kill somebody if they didn't help with that. For sure. My mom's my well, mom's big family is everything. I would know? never help. What do you mean? So I'm criticizing. I would say from your mom's perspective, I agree with her. From your dad's, 100. percent That's what I will do. What? Just never help. Almost never help. I can tell you that that's yeah. headed down the pipeline for me. <laughs> yeah, it's it's no. One, I'll, I'll do it. I'm it's right. one way to do it, man. Just to be like, nah, I don't do that kind of stuff. In terms of like, true, kind of like wood, household duties. wood in South Bend. Just like, no, I made a deal with myself. I, deal with I wasn't gonna do anything. <laughs> All, right. All right, where are we at? But yeah, where the, we uh, at? Oh, we got good. We got plenty of time right now. Cause I'm good. we're on a hard out for you. I have a hard out. I have to do an interview with ESPN San Antonio. Ooh. They want to talk about my illustrious football career. <laughs> no, they don't want to talk about that. They, I, I'm just doing a show, San Antonio, Texas, this weekend. Please come. Spud was telling me that ESPN is just all social justice now. Holy shit! It's just it's just that's all it is. You've if you haven't seen it lately, it's like it's yeah, I don't crazy. Want, yeah. I watched it this morning. I watched it, and they were like, uh, I guess in the Super Bowl there's going to be a female ref, and they were th- just like the the hosts talking back and forth were like, yeah, and the NBA has hired six women this year. It's officials, and they're like, the NBA is always the most progressive. That's great. Anyway, back to like they literally were like they're what? the most progressive. Yeah, that's great. Well, what are they gonna do for like? Are they gonna just keep them at either end of the court because they can't run with the men? So how, what are they gonna do? Just have them cherry pick like they'll be you take this half, you take that. They're gonna give them like zone. They're gonna have yeah. like a zone refereeing. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure how they're gonna handle this. No, they get some good. I, no, they'll be. I'll tell fun. you what, basketball is the one I can definitely. I'm good with that. Yeah, lesbians love basketball. True. 
they can they played it, and women can play basketball at a relatively like I, I watched a hockey game the other day with a female announcer. Mm-hmm. Took me right out of it. Really, I was very annoyed that a woman was. Dude, I know it's like, people. Dude, give us. Let I us, know a girl who played hockey. Let us for keep years. hockey. No way, dude. Oh, let you me, want you want to keep hockey let as us like keep a ho- let the boys have as a hockey. white patriarchal stronghold. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what do you think <laughs> hockey is? <laughs> Come on, man. Let the guys have hockey. <laughs> no woman is sitting down to watch the fucking Leafs versus the Wild. <laughs> <laughs> Some girls like hockey. Girls like hockey players. Hockey players are the cutest. Really? And they have the cutest butts. True, dude. You ever watch hockey guys and think about their butts? No, they, I thought I always thought they looked kind of more like faces of myth. Hockey guys are usually kind of like when they lose their teeth rough. and shit. Sure, but when they come out of the- hockey players are very. You ask any a good bay, a good white bay. <laughs> yeah, she'll tell you NHL. Really hottest guys. Soccer too gay. They're the most beautiful. Yeah, NHL hottest. Wow, I think that's just because they're the most normal looking white guys to them. <laughs> the you hockey know? players yeah they're all like fucking like 5'10 white guys they got long hair yeah true you couldn't you couldn't look at Manu Bowl and be like that's my guy dude see him slithering through the water I, I like I like him dude I like the fact that he went down there to try to straighten up Sudan and they try to capture him they try to capture all seven feet of Manu Bowl it's like dude what kind yeah, of right. fucked up thing is this think of him running away he got away yeah, he's just he he brought, <laughs> like Happy Gilmore's boss. He got out of there. <laughs> yeah, the dude, the government of Sudan claims that like I don't know why everyone's leaving. They're just being babies about this. But we didn't attack them. <laughs> their their government holds it down like liars. Dude, I heard uh, somebody just told me this because I was talking about Hotel Rwanda. Mm-hmm. The the guy who's the main character in that's like getting arrested by that government now. What the other government won? Really? Or <laughs> something? I don't know. And I, th- I think he was supposed to be like a humanitarian like hero in this movie. And then I think in real life he's being held captive. What? By the Rwandan government. Yeah, dude. They're, they're, they're the politics right so now. Maybe I think, Hollywood didn't tell the whole Ethiopia's story. Ethiopia's having problems too now. Some, uh, I think they're like starving. Really? They're starving. Ethiopia's been hungry for a while. Yeah, they're, they're apparently the uh, like someone's going to starve like a rebel camp. That's like what's happening right in now. Ethiopia? In Ethiopia, yeah. That's no good. Yeah, apparently back in the 80s when they were starving, when we had that like kick-ass concert for them. Yeah, that was apparently a man-made like food blockade. <laughs> Everyone, that's according to something I read. They were saying it was a uh, they're communist leader. Nowadays, they all are technically. Yeah. Oh, true. Nowadays, Absolutely. every food shortage is a man-made. Somebody was like, "Yeah, they don't need that." Oh yeah, I mean they can all be shit. Matt's gonna get cookies and steak <laughs> and cake for his birthday. Till I throw up. Those people? No, no. Yeah, dude. <laughs> for sure, dude. I I felt like. I get ashamed of myself when I throw up too, so I threw up and dude. That Why? Was, I don't know. I it just it's a weird. It's like a subconscious thing. If you throw up from being sick, that's. I mean, I get I get thrown up from a hangover. With the weirdest being po- like, what the fuck am I doing? I usually just feel so relieved if I throw up when I'm hungover. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, thank God that's over. Oh, okay, yeah. I, it's it's not like it's not like a thing that I think about. I was just like, <sighs> the whole rest of the day, I was just like, <sighs> yeah. Just had to stick my finger down just my throat. Ruined your birthday, dude. Well, I don't care about that, but it was just like. Haven't, dude, it just fucking sucked. Just be over the toilet and be like, hey! yeah. was, ugh, awful. I just, I just threw up. Did you? Yeah. When? Oh, after the party? It was New Year's. Really? I could have sworn I just threw up after a, a night of drinking. Well, it's nice if you're blacked out and throw up and you kind of vaguely remember throwing no, up. No, I threw you... up the next day. Ooh. And it was like I had just chugged a Powerade. Eee. <laughs> it came back up cold. A Powerade? <laughs> it was like still cold. Yeah, I chugged like a Powerade. Used to it. Or you, now you just, I mean, you dude, just up in the like... doses. Being used to it is like half a cup would give me a panic attack. Now I can like drink a cup of coffee and then like function like a maniac for fucking four hours and crash. And then if I drink, I started drinking it and I like you should just uh, you should just try Adderall once. I've tried it. No, I mean not drinking, just like oh, I've I've taken it once to study and it did not. I was chatty. Yeah, but you will get chatty. It's fun. I was a chatty cat, and it's fun chatting while you're doing it. Was it was so fun. You're going. Everybody needs to hear what I'm about. But to But everyone say. was studying. They were not trying to hear what I was saying. You haven't done it since college. I'd like you no. to. I haven't taken it since I'd, college. I th- it just as an experiment, just run it. It would be a bad experiment. It'd be wild. I'd be. I'd lose my mind. I'm telling you, dude. That was the night. That was the dreaded night. I tried to jump levels. It was like <laughs> Wait, I tried what? to jump to a lower level at a concert because I was like, I got this. It wasn't. It wasn't like the fucking like forty yeah. thirty foot drop. This was like a you know. Probably seven, six. Did it four. work? It's a lot though. It was higher. Yeah, yeah. it's higher than you think when you're looking when, you f- when your fat body's falling down <laughs> through space. You're like, this is a lot of <laughs> a lot of weight coming down. It's gonna hurt. <laughs> yeah, 
<laughs> Did you do it? Yeah, I made it, bro. And then I got kicked out of the concert. <laughs> I told this story. What before. concert was it? Beastie Boys. Beastie Boys? That's sick. That was the one were... I got kicked out. You snuck back right. in. I climbed the fence of the smoking section, snuck back in, kicked out again, snuck in with the air mark. You're just sneaking. Tails old as time, yeah. Yeah. And then yeah, I, all and makes then I actually sneak. watched the rest of the concert. Like I got a spy. It done. I got it done. Yeah. I was. I was a German spy. You're a spy. <laughs> I was a Blitzkrieger. You're on behalf of Wilhelm. <laughs> he actually was a motherfucker with the espionage and the sabotage. He was sending people over to America and just like blowing stuff up. Yeah. Allegedly. It could have been the American government, you know, stoking up resentments. But apparently he was sending bros to just like blow up munitions factories. And they were like, well, fucking, we're going to come kick your ass. Yeah, he was a wild bro. And then he got addressed. A whole a bunch of people like, had to address him at a council. Like, dude, you're fucking up. And he like got like nervous and was like, oh, you guys don't even know what you're talking about. And so he got, like, <laughs> yeah. visibly like upset and shaking. And then he fired the guy immediately. Exiled him. He's like, get him the fuck out of here. He's gone. That sucks. He did that. Just blew it that hard. You know what he really blew is Wilhelm sent Lenin back to Russia. Did he really? Yeah. That's not good. He was in Germany. What? And he was like, oh, I'm going to send this guy over there to knock Russia out of the war with a revolution. And it backfired because then it became the Soviet Union and then it killed all the Germans. Whoa. Just 20 years later. Just one bro. Yeah. Damn, I didn't know. He said, this guy's got some ideas. Let's put him on a train. Let's send him back to Russia where he's already been exiled because he's going to get the boys going. Damn, they used That'll be a good way to get Russia out of the war, and it worked. Russia was knocked out of World War One. Whoa. He sent a take missile. He's like, this guy's got a, a little things. virus. He said, <laughs> you guys are going to get sick from this boy. Really? Yeah. And, and that it, guy, yeah. The so revolution ended up killing his cousin, the the czar. Oh, yeah. Who, also, who did talk shit. Shout out to Wilhelm. That was a sick movie. Yeah. Sent over a fucking little nasty-ass Lenin. A mission accomplished, though. Yeah. He talk. He did take. I mean, did t- millions of people die? Yes, but did he fucking triumph over his hater? He did get his hater's entire family executed. <laughs> I mean, dude, that's pretty tight. It's kind of a win. <laughs> that's a huge dub. And survived World War One and just talk shit to Hitler through letters. True. It's a good run. That is kind of nice, actually. Yeah. Hot ass English mom. It's hot fucking mommy. Churchill's mom was from New Jersey. What? Really? I believe so. Yeah. He had, a, he had like fucking yeah, he was a, Jersey Shore. He had a half American boy. <laughs> Damn. What do you think his mom was like? More like Sam. You think his mom was more like His mom looked like Snooky. I'm sure I read Snooky, it. Snooky, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Jersey, Snooky. England. Yeah. <laughs> it was a Jersey yeah. you know, fucking Italian lady. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Churchill. <laughs> What's oh his name, God. William? Willie. Winston. Winston. Winnie. Yeah, American boy. American born mom. Whoa. That's great. Nothing, dude. Also, she that so jersey, nice. does she have that jersey nose? She was. She actually does look like that. She was uh, <laughs> one of the first so-called buccaneers to cross the ocean, setting the trend of marrying into British aristocracy. Traitor. Jenny Churchill. That's cool, though, for like an American girl to go over there. That's pretty tight. Yeah. Ladies love England, dude. They get to go there. And she be was like, so oh, close queen. to just driving a white jeep. Yeah. <laughs> that never gets old. It's nonstop. It's a Jersey thing. I know. If you're a white fucking buccaneer from New Jersey, love Jeeps. Jeep culture is so strong in New Jersey. It's unbelievable. They love it. It's crazy. How fucking gay is New Jersey? It's the gay state. Easily. Bruh. Easily. Bruh. Everybody- Central, I will say, and I'm not just saying this for Sean's sake, Central is the most sane area of Jersey. North Jersey is just absolute one type yeah. of chaos. It's like Guido chaos. You just, mm-hmm. South Jersey is just a confusing blend of like. You, you just offended all the Jerseyans in a different way. What do you mean? You just admitted Central Jersey is a place. Central Jersey is the best spot in Jersey. They, I'm they hate you. that. It Thank doesn't you, even exist. I like Dude, that. that's Jersey bullshit. <laughs> How do you feel about that? Like when the South and the North try to tell you you don't exist. I really don't Although like you're kind of right. Central Jersey is just North Jersey, really. <laughs> Bruh. It is kind of North Now Jersey, you sound yeah. like everybody from Jersey. <laughs> this is a trap in Jersey, dude. <laughs> it's a conundrum. It's an absolute conundrum. It's a paradox. South Jersey, dude. The malls. People love malls still. What's Trenton? Yeah. Trent. Central. South. It's the end. It seems no, I like guess Central. It's central, yeah. But it's uh, on the border of the South. Fucking... What's Camden? That's South. South. That's South. That's, That's, South. That's right south. across from Philly, right? Very mm-hmm. South Jersey. I guess, yeah, Trenton would be the beginning of Central Jersey. I feel like Trenton's yeah. Central, Princeton Central Jersey. Princeton Central, Princeton runs nice. Central. Princeton's a nice town. Princeton's real nice. Princeton's Princeton's nice. Stand by, Central Jersey is the nicest part of Jersey. Yeah, I love Princeton. That's where Einstein went. <laughs> you know that? Did you know that? What do you mean I he went there? That. He was like there. I don't know. He was teaching or something. He was there. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, I think he taught at Princeton. Probably he did. I know. Yeah. Didn't he go to Harvard too? 
probably do. He, he taught over there. He probably did all the schools. I think he, he went to every Ivy League school there was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I said, yeah, there was a guy. I was I was in Prin- or yeah Princeton. They were saying like how his dad used to like chill with Einstein. It looks like he died in Princeton. Yeah, he I'm died in you, Princeton. Bro. All, they claim him. They claim Einstein so hard. Princeton. I was in Princeton. They were saying, like, I was with Brittany's, one of her cousins lived in Princeton. Her, her family was like, yeah, like, my dad University used to chill with Einstein. Zurich. Said he was cool as hell. Einstein yeah. was cool. <laughs> he was so chill, apparently. <laughs> Real chill, dude. That makes sense. Yeah, he was like a people's person. A lot like Rudolph Diesel. Man of the people. <laughs> Man of the people. Not like Lord Kelvin. I don't think, he, what did he do at Princeton? Just Other than just fucking I saw die. something he lectured there. And he died there. Yeah, he'd be like, "Did you know if you look out of a wormhole at a clock, it's two uh, seconds?" Theoretical slower. physics at Princeton. Wait, is that real? Yeah, if you go up super high, time goes, I think, faster. Actually, one of the two, by like the millisecond. The higher altitude, time slow. The clock will slow down. Yeah, because of the gravity. Mm-hmm. Careful. <laughs> Dude, I was thinking about this the other day. You could be, you could be a millisecond <laughs> late at the top yeah. of your mountain job. <laughs> What's the mountain job? What are you I'm saying, if you had a job, I know. What are you doing mountain, up there? You'd probably just rolling barrels down, <laughs> keep people from walking up the hill. You know, no, you'd probably be at the observatory. Yeah, yeah, obviously that makes sense. Yeah, you'd be a monk. You could be a monk. I've been yeah. a monk for five Nepalese. years. Now I'm a neuroscientist. Nepali. I know everything there is to know about business. <laughs> How do you say? What's somebody from Nepal called? Nepalese. Yeah, I got it right the first time. Mm-hmm. Nice. Nepalese. So, Paul's fucking South Central Jersey of India. If the universe is mirrored, right, why don't we just look behind us? What are you talking about? The universe is this mirrored, is right? fucking bother me a lot. <laughs> Wait, it's a mirror? No, It's a mirror. So? The universe is mirrored. So, like, it like, goes and then, like. Mirrored at how so? Like, it just, like. <laughs> it's reversed. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, God dude. Damn it. Einstein would have it's kicked four, you. It's four fifty p.m. Why Einstein would have kicked you out of his I... class, dude. You'd have been shunned from the Princeton theoretical physics community. <laughs> the universe one, is in reverse. Do you mean the the image of the universe that's like it goes in and it's it's there's it's like a dual thing with a black hole in the middle. But the universe is, is mirrored. No. It's a mirrored universe. What like, do you mean by that? Like. You keep saying it. What does that mean? Like, like, <laughs> try. Yeah, I want to hear this. Put your microphone up, mic. God damn it! <laughs> you gotta explain. So guess, mirrored there's no a fucking TED Talk so, headset. There's no like end to the universe. <laughs> what? The further you go out, the slower things get. I don't know. It's Come on. Gone. And then I it turns, the and enter the mirror. Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say, why don't we just look behind us and see what. <laughs> oh, true if you look in a mirror there is your reflection right there <laughs> but yeah i don't know i don't when people get into universe talk i'm always like dude how do you know there's no yeah. way to tell i mean the fact that you're even looking up the mirror universe theory are you should reading the theory and it being like i can grasp this i've tried this with string theory lamar don't do it don't you can't. It's, it's just so gonna, hard it's just gonna bother me it's so Please hard don't <laughs> what is the mirrored universe theory? This is just a. Uh, I'm just to exp- I mean, I'm not even gonna. You can't. We can't get into exactly, mm-hmm. obviously, what the theory is. Layman's terms. This is just one little thing. I, to explain the cosmos without invoking cosmic inflation, okay. physicist Neil Turok has proposed the existence of a mirror image universe going backwards in time from the Big Bang. Okay, okay. got it. So, what's cosmic inflation? Is that the it's expanding the, universe? I would imagine. Yeah, but what's the like universe it. expanding into? Gotcha. What do you mean, got me? <laughs> Not you. I'm talking about I got Neil. I got bang Neil in the mirror universe. <laughs> Although he's on my side. He's against the expanding universe. Because that's the question. They got the universe expanding. He goes, expanding into what? Other universes. Well, that's still just the universe. No, no, no. There's you multiple know, universes. The universe means one song, dude. What's no, bigger it doesn't. Than the universe means one song. No, there's multiple universes. What's bigger than the yeah, but then that would just be the universe. If no, no, no. Multiple there's multiple universes. There's multiple. Universe is a man-made construct. It's multiple universes. <laughs> so you're you're saying there's no multiple universe theory? No, there. That would just be the universe. It would just be multi-dimensional. Multiverse sucks. It's not true. It it's would be not, that would just be the universe. The you can't have book. multiple universes. The universe is all there is. So if you have multiple, all there is is although you can't have multiple infinities. I bet you there's a pretty easy explanation to what you're saying. The multiple, what? What is it expanding into? Yeah, 
I'm, I no, I mean, people don't know the answer, but I'm saying to like debunk the multiple universe. Shit, I'm telling you, I'm like, on the edge. I'm on I know the you, I know you're into edge. quantum you know, string yeah. theory. It's fucking made up shit. <laughs> I'm having panic attacks. Hey, you're giving stuff. me one. Stop. <laughs> 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 I was talking to Andrew, after, Andrew Unger after the show, and I was just like talking about different stuff. And he goes, I don't like to think about this stuff at all, man. This yeah. stuff makes me feel really weird. <laughs> 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 He's right. <laughs> Put it down, dude. Put it down. Focus on diesel. Focus on history. History rules i know it does rule it does rule if you get into theories i just i don't even theory so much as questions that's all i got i got a bunch of questions i got a whole bucket of questions and then i go wait what was i thinking about oh fuck where am i dude <laughs> yeah. what the hell's going on oh man all right we've done it we goddamn did it we've absolutely done it boys another fucking classic crazy just dude. for you to vibe with dude vibe out vibe it's out think about the mirrored vibe. universe just remember, whatever's so, behind you. Hold on, there's got to be another theory. What other theories you got before nah, we go? Wild, Please, dude. I don't have any new theories. Mirrored Universe is nice. You nailed that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 hey, you, <guys>. <laughs> <laughs> dude, you know what's intense, though? I did make a late adjustment to. I added a, another my favorite gay song to the all new Chevy Cruise playlist. What was it? Oh, dude, this is the ultimate. This is the best. This is that Australian. Uh, Teenage guy. Yeah. I mean, I got to add Harry Styles to this. H. Styles? H. Styles has a good gay song. That I've I like been going right so now. hard on Harry Styles. Dude, every time he comes up, I just fucking go so hard on the guy. It's hard not to want to punch him in the belly, but... It's, it just it goes back to an ancient lineage of me in, like, grade school. Talk, we talked about it before. Like, anytime girls like a thing, I have to be like, nah, dude. No, you guys shit. are wrong again. Yeah, you guys are wrong. Guess, Guess what? Dude, you're six not months believe later, it. I'm always You're like, incorrect. Pretty sick. Six months later, I go, that's pretty tight. Yeah, Harry's, Harry's, it, no, it's truly an ancient lineage of you and me yep. in the back sitting on like a barrel. And then a fine prince is held up and everyone's like, ooh, he's yeah. so regal. He knows some like weird finger tapping we dance go, from India. And you're like, fuck you, dude. You know, this guy sucks. <laughs> and then he's like, you too. <laughs> Shovel. <laughs> <I'm> like, <"Ugh." laughs> fine. Fine. <laughs> fine. We'll shovel some more. Yeah. I hate the new prince. He's so fucking hot. Such a fucking <laughs> idiot. A fucking girls don't even know. Dude, I, um, I'll tell you this, Shane. I had an experience on my flight home. What was it? What was it? So I'm flying home. I got there super early, dude. I just, something about a guy like me, I got to get out of Las Vegas. The whole time, I was just choir boy, dude, of course. Of course you were. I was with you. No nog. Hey, good in Vegas. So was I. You saw me. I saw him. Weird buddy system. We were buddy system. Anytime we, we thought about girls, we would kiss each other to stop each other. <laughs> <laughs> I did kiss a guy there. <laughs> <laughs> That's because I'm Sophie now. <laughs> Are you two spirit? I am. I am two spirited. <laughs> when Sophie passed by that evil wolf man in Greece, <laughs> I assumed her soul, and now I can be anything I want, anytime, anywhere. <laughs> in material, oh, in no. material, dude, in material. <laughs> Immaterial is good, dude. Everyone, I'm going to get a lot of heat for liking that song. <laughs> and dude, you guys are right. I am wrong to I dude, truly enjoy that song. I'm, look, I'll be honest, dude. When we you would play FIFA, you what you had before it was, it wasn't always the McCuckster playlist. It was something yeah. else. And I remember sitting down, like, I've never heard this kind of music before. Yes. You've literally expanded a new dimension. It was like 2014. Listening. I was yeah. just jamming to fucking cool gay music. Dude, but it kind of rules, though. Yes. It does hold rule. On, hold on one more. New Harry is nice. Is it really? Yeah, this is what I've heard this song. The synth. That's it. That's all you need. Yeah. I'll stop. I'll stop. I'll come around. I was I was hard on John Mayer in the beginning there. I was nasty I'm, about I'm, For some reason, I'm still against him. Dude. But apparently, all the guitar bros are like, he's the best. It's crazy, dude. It's great. That's I was talking shit on him, and then you know, being a little worm that I was, I was like, "Well, I'll learn one of his songs because girls like them." And I looked up the chords, and I said, "What the fuck is that?" Yeah, what the oh, hell? I tried to learn the tabs, and Damn, I was like, "I don't." Fourteen H twelve tens S slide. I'm like, "What the fuck is this guy doing?" So it's it's so nice that dude's trying to copy him. Can't do it, hey, dude. He's too. He's nice. unlocked the actual code to get pussy. Oh, dude, it's it's crazy. Yeah, he's fully, dude, he's, 
I was thinking, I was listening, I tried to check out his new album. I'm like, dude, is this guy still bringing it? And it was like, he just writes an album about, literally, it's just about getting pussy. Every song is about like, girl, we yeah. could have been, could have been you and I, but he's white Drake now. He's basically came out, he has an album that's just him shredding and being like, yeah, I wish we had kids, but you know, it's kind of what being a rock star is all about. You man. know what's been hard on me? And I think I talked about it a little when I went to the Wilco show. Mm -hmm. Music it's gay to make music mm -hmm. and that's hard for me to come to terms with yeah like lyrics to sit down and write lyrics is so dumb <laughs> like to describe love in like a song true it's so you're more, you're more of like a magic flute guy I, beethoven's magic flute if you had you would just get perhaps. If, if you were to transmit like the idea of love you'd probably go strictly instrumental and just rise people to sublime heights mm. <laughs> I do. I hear people talk all the time about like just Beethoven's flute and just rising me to the most supreme, sublime heights. <laughs> always like, dude. Every time I listen to that stuff, I get bored. And Speaking think of flutes, dude, did you see Lizzo? I know that's old news. What old happened news? Here? They gave her James Madison's flute. What? Yeah, they took it out of the Smithsonian. And we're like, you can jam on it, and a bunch of people were upset. That she jammed on. Was she nice on the flute? I think she is good at the flute, but right. she also twerked while she was doing it. On James Madison's flute? While playing James Madison's beautiful crystal flute. It was a crystal flute? It was totally clear. Now I'm jealous. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> they were very upset. Would you see the ladies like, who... You don't touch James Madison's flute. Did you see the... Yeah, why do they get so mad at her? I don't know. Did she, was James well, Madison... Well, she twerked and she, you know, she's a fat With idiot. With James Madison's flute? <laughs> she's a twerking idiot. Yeah, I, I was wondering like, if anyone, why don't you show some respect to the fucking founding fathers. That, I was wondering if anyone called which her, which is fat. an interesting thing to say to an African American. <laughs> yeah, why don't you pay respect to the was, founding fathers? Did he lady? have him? Was, did, was JM have him or no? I would imagine JM had him. James Mad had him. Yeah, he was a Virginia bull. He yeah. had him, and she got to play his flute. He was a Virginia man. What he a travesty! Virginia. He was from Virginia. What a travesty that she got to play his flute. Yeah. <laughs> I think actually, I think when I originally saw it, I was outraged. I was fuming. That Lizzo played the Crystal I was in the flute. middle of taking a shit, and I saw it, and I said, God damn it. Fuck. You put that fucking... We've lost the Virginia front. We lost, we lost uh, the old Dominion. She, she raised her flag, dude. Yeah, I guess in hindsight, because that was like two weeks ago. Yeah, you've, you've recovered. I've recovered, and I'm back to... That's funny to be upset about. Let that. bygones be bygones. My God! <laughs> did, you, did you see the ladies who uh, splash the uh, Van Gogh? That fucking pissed me off dude, so much, dude. Did you hear the guy's voice? That pissed me did you off hear the guy's so voice? much. That yeah. made me. I hate Van Gogh. Because uh, you went, I to, went that to the exhibit. And I was like, this guy's such a fucking drama you queen. Splash it I, I, I was, I was the only one rooting those girls on. I'm like, this <laughs> yeah. guy. If you do the fucking immersive Van Gogh, you're like, this guy's kind of an insufferable dickhead. And oh then, no! I got fuck. My last day, I, I googled candy corn. And oh yeah, you have a fucking wake up at five a.m. tomorrow. tomorrow? Huh? It can be anything I want. <laughs> I thought today was what day is it? Tuesday. Oh, now I got to do two days, and I got to Wednesday, Thursday. Early bird. You're about to, dude, you're gonna look up tomorrow morning and see a fucking tin lunch pail in your hand. <laughs> you're gonna eat lunch on the beams, dude. You're getting up early. Waking up early sucks so fucking bad, dude. I'm Why do we do this? Get up early? Who's doing this? Why? I'm an early. My my body does the best before six o'clock. Fucks me up. But like, if I can get up at six thirty, that's my end all be all. I wait, if I wake up early, I'm fucked. But you're for out you're several out, hours. You're out. You have a night. You have a night out schedule. Yeah. Have you always? Been, are you're a bit of. You're more of a. Um, people have different circadian rhythms too. You might be a night guy. You might be the defender of the cat of the village. There's some people that have like nighttime circadian rhythms. Of course, they, they think they were the the defenders. I could have been a guy on a wall. Hey, might have been hey. the tower. <laughs> Get out of here! Oh fuck! They have a catapult. Fuck! Yeah, Everybody, wake the shit. fuck up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! We're fucked. They're shooting large missiles. Yes, we need to hide. I love when they call rocks missiles. Yes. And they shot them with missiles. Like the trebuchet. Do yeah. you like trebuchets? Dude, I love trebuchets. Yes. Yeah. Uh, jumps How? off the Golden Gate Bridge onto Whoa. a fucking helicopter, yeah. dude. And drags it down? Yeah. Dude. He saved all the apes.
Yeah. Did he sacrifice? Was it a noble he sacrifice? sacrifice? Himself. It was a very noble sacrifice. Christ figure. It's nice. actually very sad to see him die. Yeah, His fucking yeah. hand was twitching. I was like, man, they really. Dude, it was crazy. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. So he he like died. Did he die instantly, or he like no? Lived? He survived they, the crash. He got to be like. There and, uh, yeah, he yeah. fucking yeah. He twitched. <laughs> he had a yeah, little he twitch. <laughs> I wonder if that came out when Harambe happened. Ooh, nah, yeah. 2011. Well, Harambe was like 2016, I think. Yeah, yeah. So is the yeah. gorilla out of the... Yeah, he's dead, dude. He's gone. There's he's other gone. gorillas. There's new there gorillas. are other... Okay, yeah, thank yeah. God. Really I was, I was, just, I was like apes. kind of pissed to see if that I was... Cannot, the, new, the new bad guy, his name is Proximus Caesar. He takes Caesar's name so he can like... Uh, you know, it's get his so legacy fun. and stuff. So he can cool. never be Caesar. There's a new bad guy who's is a the bad guy. Ape. Is a bad guy an ape? Guy. Yeah, he's a he's a They're probably like same yeah. type of monkey. What spawned this evil? Uh, just like a, you know, you know, eventually Power civilization thing that drill. spawns yeah. evil in us, man. Drill, drill. <laughs> power corrupts, dude. Oh wait, what? Did, absolute power corrupts eventually. Absolute, absolute power absolutely. corrupts absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. Eventually. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe so. My favorite is the fucking yeah. yeah. That's nice. We yeah. need to start doing that. <laughs> what is it? No, dude, you get me. <laughs> <laughs> That's to you. Dude. <laughs> They're going to everything you like gets taken. Yeah, FIFA got <laughs> dude, FIFA, Yeah, you got to see. I, I hopefully we can get it. I got to show you the loading screen for it. Yeah, of course, it literally looks like a forty-eight-year-old lady. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Because I remember when you mentioned uh, oh the crowd. Yeah, and I was like. Dude, this is insane. And then I saw it and I went, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, it's just African. You should see the yeah, crowd dude. in Madden, dude. Yeah. Madden's crowd is the craziest one. Was it's Madden like, like seven? It's like 80 to 20 like black guys. And you're like, there's never this many black people yeah. at a football game, dude. What the <laughs> hell? <laughs> Think about an English soccer game. Dude, literally. And it cuts to the crowd and the entire crowd's black women. <laughs> like, <laughs> it should be a bunch of guy, white guys holding bananas. That's a soccer crowd. Yeah, uh, well, all right. Yeah. <laughs> Not in England, dude. They say no to racism. They kneel before the game. Racism's dead. True. <laughs> before kickoff, every team kneels. and they It go, is tight. We've abolished. Do they have end racism on the outside of their court field? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, all right, never mind. They're Europeans. They're, they're ending racism. Yeah, they, dude, they, they monkey see, monkey do what we do, and they do it <laughs> ten times more. We've conquered that force inside of ourselves. Yeah. yeah. Now we got to do greed. We'll get greed next year. 2023, we'll just all overcome <laughs> Communism. Greed. Yeah, for sure. So sick of greed. Yeah, yeah, we'll do communism. Greed is the thing ruining this country. Yeah? Yeah. You see the NFL and Disney. Disney's starting a new um, sports streaming service okay. with like all the other companies that they own. I thought you were thinking more lobbyists, but yeah, sure. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Disney. <laughs> this, <laughs> lobbyists, the cartoons. lobbyists is bad, but Disney is the fucking main bad Disney right now. Disney is the one ruining. <laughs> they must be ruining the games. They EA Sports oh is God, uh, what the fuck? If they ruin NCAA, oh, they announced coming. NCAA today. If they ruin NCAA twenty five. What are you gonna do? I will. Can you not? I say? will buy <laughs> firearms, <laughs> and I will do something big. <laughs> I will do something fucking big if, if I see one woman on a college football team. <laughs> All the signs were there. He announced. <laughs> he said it. Damn. Nah, dude. Game. <laughs> I don't know if this is bad. So, so all what? game developers are like trans now. <laughs> <laughs> like, really, dude? All the game developers are trans, bro. God. All right. All right. I can't say this. <laughs> you can say whatever you want. No, nah, dude. You ever watch the game awards, country, dude? You watch the game awards. Every person coming up there is a. Is a trans. The fuck's watching the game awards, dude. The game awards is huge, bro. <laughs> oh, I've I've caught wind of this before. Yeah, yeah all the developers are Man, trans, and it's big... kind of ruining like <laughs> it's kind of like making <laughs> s- storylines and games unrelatable. Well, I the, the gamers are mostly like it's gone the yeah, way. But of, like, you're trans. part of the problem. You always pick female characters in every game. Be- because I you love when they're like, you're part of the it. fucking problem. No, no, no. I you are the- literally part of the problem. <laughs> you're the biggest part. I, every time I get a new game, and they're like. Gears of War 6, this time it's a fucking chick with a shaved head. I go, who's this for? And then I look outside and I see you jacking off to Tekken. I don't, I don't play I don't I don't play girls in shooters. That's not where women belong. Women don't belong in the field. <laughs> <laughs> you know, these girl shooter games. 
it's nice you cross the you just yeah. fucking you're like all right that's my red line no i just like lucky watching sexy butts when i play fight games <laughs> that's uh, all I like to look at. you're building a strong case now <laughs> girls don't belong out you with keep combat, them in the bro. fantasy realm you yeah. fight them but only in the fantasy yeah realm. what kind Once, of women fight not in war <laughs> no. what about your muscle queens that's fake too <laughs> <laughs> wrestling's fake come on man it's a beautiful, <laughs> still real to it's you, a beautiful illusion <laughs> You are the still real to me, damn it. <laughs> it is still real to me. It's choreographed. I'll so the, the, the right gamer way. community, you're saying this is being, you said the woke mind virus has been programmed into the Dude, games, the basically. Gamers are It's the forefront. Yeah. Dude, NHL, like every single game during BLM was like a one minute pause screen before you can go. To yeah. Be like, In hockey. NHL. <laughs> yeah. NHL, dude. Yeah. <laughs> True. I don't even think 2K did it. They just know. 2K? They had some end racism in there. They Absolutely had some end racism in there. Yeah, yeah. you're right. In yeah. 2K, yeah. Which is fine. Look, that was BLM. At the time, if you were a big company, yeah, for sure. you have to do it. But don't ruin the game <laughs> still, dude. Yeah. The game dude, go. I feel like BLM was an op, dude. I feel like it was a work. You think? Yeah. Uh, BLM was a work, and we all got worked so hard. Yeah. yeah. And it's. Yeah. I disagree with what he's saying. <laughs> it's I a work. I, for the record, exist. I completely disagree. <laughs> it was a work, dude. I think they spent their funds wisely. You're breaking out the fucking. <laughs> you're breaking out the topics today. <laughs> <laughs> I got furious at something today. <laughs> What'd you get furious at? Uh, How'd you get so Lucas's red pill? What happened? That made me mad. What, what happened? David Lucas apologizing. That made me mad. Why? I don't know. Yeah. You were mad that he did that? I was mad at that him. He apologized like two people. He just let people know that he apologized to the family. I was kind of mad about that. Who did he apologize to? Floyd family. The Floyd's? Floyd family. Yeah. I don't know. Look, when you're getting crushed like that, yeah. And all you're doing is putting out. A, this is how you rationalize it. Go. I'm just putting out a fucking video. Who gives yeah. a fuck? I'm gonna say sorry. I'm gonna say stop fucking saying I. I'm. He made like a joke about George Floyd. Yeah, yeah. I guess. And he was like, I talked to George Floyd's family. Right. And like, I apologize to all these people. You guys can relax. They're fine with it. You guys can relax. Yeah. I don't know. You're you're just Lemaire saying he feels as if the he, you're more mo- mad at like the. It's like, dude, it'll die. Let it go. No, <laughs> he's saying he's mad at David Lucas. Oh, I'm okay. not mad at David Lucas. No, 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 no. no. I'm yeah, mad it seems at like he's people. mad about the circumstances. Yeah, I'm mad That's at what I was trying to get out of him, but he kept going. <laughs> <laughs> no, I am mad about the circumstances. I'm not mad at David Lucas. What that you have to apologize? No, I, yeah, because it's just a fucking joke. He was trying some stuff. I mean. <laughs> I didn't see the joke. I mean, but like, yeah. I didn't see the joke. Yeah, you can't make fun of Floyd. It's pretty tame. It's not that crazy, really. Well, he was riffing. It was yeah. a little. I'll tell you after. <laughs> he was riffing on the Floyd man. After. And then, and then, which which family was it that was like enraged? The Floyd family. Okay, because the clip of him went online. Somebody posted it online, and they were like, "Don't you fucking dare!" Yeah. Hmm. That's weird. I saw a documentary about Floyd's family. <laughs> they never visited him halfway out. I never saw that. I saw that. I never saw that. That was the one that broke Kanye's brain. That was the one that broke Kanye's brain. Yeah, that's what I told you. I, was like, <laughs> I told you this. I literally said every single thing yeah. Kanye is saying is from the Candace <laughs> Owens doc. The Candace Owens doc got yeah. I, that's what that was the one. I thought you were for real said you didn't see that. I was like, wait, I was like, yeah, I was this is the one. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I, I never saw that. <laughs> but then again, you know, to, to their family, it's like, yeah, obviously, it's like he's in a halfway house. I, I didn't know people in halfway houses I didn't visit either. So, you know, it's a fair. If somebody in my family, yeah. I it is an unfair caricature of a person to be like, he didn't even see him in the halfway house. It's like, yeah, dude, you don't go. Yeah. It's like, they didn't even care. It's like, well, I'm probably still sad. <laughs> I bet they were helping him pay for the halfway house. Yeah. Usually, well, I don't know. But he, and he was on mega drugs. It's a shame. I just want to know, Lamar, why are you have so much hate in your heart now? <laughs> yeah. I don't have hate. I have a lot of righteous fury. <laughs> That's what's up. Yeah. I think you know I, what I was thinking about today? Why do they call it poetic justice? Mm. It's just fucking justice. Yeah. I guess if it like poetic your justice poetic is like justice. If, it, if it rings true or is like beautiful. You in mean some it's way. just? Yeah, true. Justice is beautiful and blind. Yeah, I don't understand it. Yeah. What does that even mean? Well, I think. Poetic justice is more about like when it's like a thing where someone was wronged and then yeah. they get it and right. And then they justly. Yeah, but like yeah, justice but is blind. So if you're, you can't, ideally. you're not always going to be wronged and get the right outcome. So then you don't get justice. 
No, ju- justice is blind is uh, I've, it's not saying it gets it wrong. <laughs> yeah. it's blind I mean, it does, but death. justice is blind is supposed to be it's it's you can see i mean it, can, it doesn't care about anything you just like yeah. there for a, facts let me yeah. say i poetic justice seems to be totally redundant yeah because i'm like trying to i was trying to rationalize it i was taking a shower this was big yeah because it's a cool it's a cool song i like that like i am a sinner but what does uh seen again what the hell? So they're saying things I don't. Poetic understand. justice is a literary device <laughs> in which a character is rewarded or punished in a manner befitting their actions, ensuring a just resolution, <laughs> often contrary to their expectations. Again, yeah, right. it People suggests that moral nice. virtue will ultimately be rewarded in wrongdoing, punished, creating a balance in the narrative world. So justice. The concept is utilized to emphasize the theme of karma or establish the moral order of the universe. So it's justice. just karmic justice? Yeah, justice. But isn't that all justice? Justice, yeah. Not all justice is karmic. Why? Well, karma, well, yeah, justice like, is right. Yeah, but karma isn't right. Well, here's the thing. What, what do you mean? Yeah, it is. If you no, karma is like the. You this, get rewarded. It's like good and evil, right? Like the you do good, you get good, you do bad, you get bad. That's justice. No. Ain't karma. I don't well, think- you're saying justice could be, you could be a mom whose like, son got killed, and then you kill the killer of your kid, but you still have to go to jail for two years. That and that's not it. just, that's justice for her, but that's not actual justice. The justice system would this, frown upon that. Yeah. But then, in light of the circumstances, the justice system, the judicial system. Uh, I think we're most confusing the judicial system with for actual justice. The ideal justice. of justice. Uh, okay, True. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. True. Damn, dude. Hell yeah. Anyway, yeah, no, you're right. It's good. Uh, it's a good topic change there. <laughs> yeah, it was a good one. <laughs> Shift gears. It was a good one. You guys, how was the Super Bowl? Oh, let's yeah. talk about. The, let's get to the Patreon and then we'll discuss the True, Super Bowl. True, good call. We have a lot to discuss. We've hit about an hour, have we not? We got to talk about all the massive celebs we met, dude. <laughs> we're gonna spill all the tea. Me and Guy Fieri hung out in a shower. That's <laughs> true. That is true. <laughs> Join us on Patreon. <laughs> okay, all right, I see. Thank Big you, old Sean. dump. Good for him, though. He's he's yeah. He's probably gonna take a dump with that impacted ass. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, are you not? I'll tell you something. <laughs> not getting enough sleep can really mess up your body and your mental health. Our sponsor, Beam, has created this awesome dream powder. It's healthy hot cocoa that helps you sleep. Wow. Matt and Shane's listeners get a special discount on Beam's dream powder, their best-selling healthy hot cocoa for sleep with no added sugar. That sound, you know what I was hoping for, Sean? A fucking hot cocoa dream powder. (laughs) Now it's here, baby. Now it's available in delicious flavors like sea salt caramel. How do you say car- caramel? I like. I was a big caramel guy. I uh, go back and forth. Uh, sea salt caramel, 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 cinnamon cocoa, and chocolate peanut butter. Better sleep has never tasted better. A recent clinical study revealed Dream helped ninety three percent of users wake up feeling more refreshed, and ninety three percent reported that Dream helped them get a more restful night's sleep. Dream contains a powerful all-natural blend of reishi, magnesium L-theanine, melatonin, and nano CBD to help you fall asleep, stay asleep, and then wake up and refresh. Personal endorsement. I fucking love it. I chug it. Get ready for the best sleep of your life. If you want to try Beam's best-selling dream powder, get up to 40% off for a limited time when you go to shopbeam.com slash drenched and use code drenched at checkout. That's that's shopbeam, B-E-A-M, uh, dot com slash drenched and use code drenched to get up to 40% off. And that's, I'll tell you what, Sean, if you want to chug hot cocoa before bed, that's the product for you. You're going to sleep great. All right. Thank you, Beamies. You're a dude, and your home decorating choices are boring. Keep your walls looking awesome with metal posters from Displate. (laughs) Displate takes just 20 seconds to install and won't damage your walls. Just pop the magnetic sticker on the wall, hang the poster, and you're good to go. 
You can even submit your own art to get printed for something totally unique and custom. Whoa. Uh, personal endorsement. I look at this sometimes. I look at it and I go, things aren't so bad. <laughs> Check out their officially licensed designs from Star Wars, Doom, West Ham, and more. West Ham. Uh, the soccer team? Yeah, there you go. Come on, you. Come on, you hammers. Get the disc plate for the hammers. That's fucking cool. Uh, save up to 34%. Save up to 34% off when you click the link in our description and get your ready to hang art. The discount will automatically be applied to your cart when you click our link. Use code DRENCHED when you visit DisPlate.com to, to get the discount. That's DisPlate.com slash DRENCHED, or click the link in our show notes. So, yeah, look at that. That could be in your apartment or house. You could have that. You could have that. It sounds like thunder, so you can scare your cats and dogs. <laughs> All right. Guys, fellas. When that fucking nicotine craving hits, you're going to want to deal with it right away. Whether you're in a restaurant flying in the friendly skies or at church with your grandma, Lucy Breakers lets you get your fix whenever and wherever you are. Easy. Each pouch has a small flavor capsule inside that fucking breaks and moistens your mouth and oh yeah, and punch it up and it punches up the flavor with like with flavors like mint, berry, citrus and mango. Personal favorite. I'm a bit of a mango man myself. Uh, choose your preferred nicotine strength and your favorite flavor to make the perfect combination. Also love having some nicotine pouches on the flight. People don't like when you smoke on a plane. You get arrested. Visit Lucy. That's L U C Y dot C O and use promo code drench to get 20% off your first order. Shipping is always free. That's L U C Y dot C O promo code drench to receive 20% off and always free shipping. Here comes the fine print. <laughs> Lucy products are for adults of legal age and every order is age verified. So don't even think about it. Youngsters. This product contains nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive fucking chemical. So don't play around with it. Anyway. Wow. Yeah, good time. So I got no life insurance. Oh, wow. That's very funny that they just watched Protecto Parks. And <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, no chance. Because they don't want to give it to you already. Yeah. Why so don't then they want like, to give it to Isn't that their business? They don't want to pay it off once you die. They just think I'm going to die. That sucks. I know. I'm like, every comedian old. does. God this. damn, I've got no shot at it. You no, you're no fucked. Yeah. You're fucked. Those I went, to the, that time I went to the doctor. The guy was like, how much do you drink? I was like. Six? I'll be honest with you, because I was like, everybody. You should lies. be honest with your doctor. Everybody lies. I was like, I'll tell you the truth. I probably have fifty a week. And he, he was like, like, Oh my god. <laughs> he, was like, he was like, Oh well, the problems you're having, it's your pancreas has to be failing. This is really? we're gonna go get some blood work right now. That's an you can't be doing that. So what happened? I got blood work, and he was like, You're fine. <laughs> oh, see, they always do that. Yeah. Come on, and you're young. And yeah. doctors are drunks too. They're liars. They are, but they IV all day long. I don't. I don't buy the IV, dude. I found my doctor smoking a it. cigarette. You don't buy that they do it, or you don't buy it. That I don't it works? buy it. How no, well it works? It's never worked. How could it the hurt? Okay. Party How didn't it work? I don't think it does. Vitamins. I bet. I bet for your health, it does work. I do agree with that. I'm just saying that it does not cure a hangover. No, it doesn't no. cure a hangover. Nothing, Nothing cures. At the bachelor party, I felt worse on it. It was like, oh fuck. Yeah, it does fuck you up a little bit. Give but me, Adderall oh. will cure a hangover. You will. You'll be a little bit anxious. Go in it. Up up. Don't look at that outlet. Come here. Go, Come here, dog. Go. Yes. Adderall yes. cures a hangover, so does another beer. Gonna lean on you. Uh, Come here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's a good pop, dude. It's a good High looking five. bitch. High you five. got a good dog. High five. Hey, <laughs> nice. He's a good dog. Hanging, bro. His hobo knows his dog. <laughs> He's a very serious dog, though. Oh, yeah, it's regal as shit. His face is always very... It's almost sad. <laughs> what do you do? This? You you make out. I've seen you make out with this yeah, dog. Don't I do it. I can't handle Don't it. Don't make out with the dog. No one likes it. It's weird. Especially <laughs> with that beer. Now you got dog oh, jizz in the beer. Oh, yeah. You, your breath smells like raw meat sometimes. Ah. <laughs> You're like, oh, you just ate. <laughs> so Damn it. So does DeRosa's. <laughs> <laughs> I can't Woo! believe DeRosa did that. I know. It was Although, once you see the pictures, you go, ah, yeah. You get Dave a couple Smith, drinks and a chance. pretty beautiful. Dave Smith afterwards, I go, dude, we fucked up. We, we should have been going to Temple this whole time. <laughs> we shouldn't be <laughs> part of this yeah. world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there goes Dave's presidential bid. Yeah, right. <laughs> that was I think it. He had a kid like during Skankfest. I think his wife 
Got no way, kid. really? Yeah, and he showed. I fucked a kid during Skating Fest. Oh. Yeah. Local high school. Cut it. <laughs> <laughs> Local high school. Imagine going to high school in Vegas. Well, I went to New Orleans, so what the hell Isn't am I that where uh, Adam, Adam Friedland's from Vegas? Really? Yeah. yeah. I thought for sure he was a New York Jew. Yeah. Yeah, he seemed like he's like mug? the most New York Jew possible. Crazy looking dude. We, we He just had a crazy guest on. He had Chet Hanks. Yeah, yeah, I love yeah, Chet yeah, Hanks. Yeah, yeah. That guy's yeah. awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. Chet Hanks is very funny. Yeah. He's he totally is. in on the joke. He nah. was the only one who did well on that. Uh, Who's the black lady that had that show? That was kind of like Z-Way. He was he the only well. one that fucking did well. So what did he do? Can Fire kick back rocks and, just and play he was along. like, yeah. Woke people <laughs> yeah, kick yeah, rocks. Yeah, yeah. She was, was like, come on, give me something. And he's like, no, fuck him. You're just going to edit this. <laughs> yeah, but he he held in. He dominated. Stayed in the pocket. He did some insane joker quote. Oh, He's yeah. like, I'm like a dog. If I catch a car, I don't know what I'll, I don't know it's what I'll funny. even do with it. <laughs> <laughs> he came in. Yeah. Eric Andre said, "Worst guest of all time." He said he came in trying to like make it funny. He goes, "You're yeah. not gonna fuck with me. I'm gonna fuck with you." Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I actually, I actually respected his yeah. response to Eric Andre saying he was a dickhead. What did he say? He was like, "You're a dickhead." The whole show is you being an asshole to people. Mm. I wasn't gonna be the butt of the joke or like something along those lines. Yeah, he's not wrong. I guess he took a dirt bike and was driving it around on set. They're like, fucking everything up. It's like, you cranked the heat. All right, yeah. Hanks. You cranked the heat? Yeah. Oh, I was allowed to ride dirt bikes. Something now. Yeah. You mean Hannibal punch somebody? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can't fucking. Yeah, there's a dirt bike there. That's great. That's a great response. It's like, he rode the dirt bike around set. Yeah, it's like, the heat was rules. <laughs> <laughs> he was in an episode of Atlanta, and he just had a Trinidadian accent the whole time. Really? <laughs> it was pretty great. Good for yeah. him. What do you think? Do you think Tom watches that? And he's like, ah, oh, jeez. Or is he like, hey, that's a fun son. I think it's a fun son. I think at this point it's a fun son. I think for a while it was a little like, ooh, this kid. What's this kid going to do? Yeah, Especially because yeah. the other kid was he's in perfect. movies. An actor. And, yeah, Colin. Yeah. He's a great actor. Yeah. But yeah, he went, you know, family business. And the other guy went rogue. The other yeah. guy, yeah. The other he's guy was like, I'm going to follow in your footsteps. And Tom Hanks like, I wish you wouldn't live in my shadow. The other one's like, I'm going to be an online degenerate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, ah, I'm going to speak patois. I wonder if he's ever like, fuck you, dad. You're a pedophile. <laughs> I've seen Reddit. <laughs> Not saying he is, but that's uh, all over the internet. Yeah. By the way, I wrote a pedophile joke for Gervais. Yeah. He did it in the monologue uh, at the Glo- Golden Globes or whatever. Really? Or Oscars. You wrote on the Golden Globes? I just wrote... I don't know if I maybe cut this out. Cut this really? Out. Say it. Say it. So cut. I was a big Gervais fan when he did the whole trashing that, the globes or whatever. The monologue. Yeah, those were so good. You'd accept a award from uh, Al Qaeda if they had a network. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, Epstein. Awesome. I know he's your friend. All that. So I sent him a, <laughs> oh, yeah. a batch of jokes I wrote, and uh, on Twitter I DM'd him on Twitter. Sent him a batch of jokes, and he wrote back, "Hey man, I'm probably not going to use any of these, but there's some funny stuff, and I appreciate it. That's I like awesome. I like your work." And I was like, "Oh nice. my god, whatever." And then he used one, and it was a pedophile joke. And then they they cut to Tom Hanks, and he goes, <laughs> "That was it meant the world to me." That's incredible. <laughs> that's dude. great. It was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. That's great. Congrats. Thanks. Yeah. Just how long ago was this? Six years ago. Seven that's years crazy. ago. I just threw it out there. You never know. Put it in post. <laughs> No, nah, keep that in. Nah, That's great. I don't What's know if he wants that? people to know that he had writers. Oh, everybody has writers for those. All right. Well, fair enough. I that's fair. We'll talk Ask about him. it later. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. yeah. You don't I, think that's bad? I don't think that's no, bad. No, I think uh, it's known. Everybody uses writers. Anybody for that does a thing show. has writers. Okay. But they that's choose like the boss's jokes. number one credit. Oh yeah. So he oh, wrote yeah. for Chris Rock Good on point. Yeah. Good point. Okay. Not his number one. Voss is the man. Yeah. Voss, yeah. You know, like, let me correct that. Voss hey, is the fucking man. Post, we, just had Voss, we just had Voss on, and then I went in a ra- I, I fell down a rabbit hole on YouTube of just like tough, oh. tough crowd. O and A Voss. O and A Voss is the best. He's the king he of the counter punch. So fucking funny. He got me once but, that it fucked me up so bad that I like I didn't talk the rest of the the OP and gym. <laughs> I, I said a Voss joke. They were like, "What's the weather?" And I said, "I don't know. It's raining near Voss." Some spit joke. And they had a guest on, like a scientist. And he goes, oh, that's pretty good. Hey, man, you ever heard of Mark Norman? The guy goes, no. And it, it just killed so hard in the room. I was sitting next to the guy, and he hadn't heard of it. I mean, oh, my God. It, it stung so bad. And I was just like, God. I did the fake laugh, and then I shut up the whole show. I just, we, I watched uh, I watched the Voss Roast. It's on YouTube. Oh, it's so good. So good. I was there that night, and it was, it was crazy. Yeah. It was actually right after Skankfest in mm. New York, and it was a Skankfest when I was in Philly. So they gave me like a 2 p.m. spot in the garage at the creek. Oh, that was fun. And I was, no, I hated it. 
I was like, First fuck this. Fuck all these cocks. Fuck all these New York guys. They think they're so fucking good. Fuck this. I hate. I'm never going to live in New York. And then yeah. the next night, I went to Voss's uh, roast. And I was like, damn, New York's easily You're the best. Cool. The best. Voss's these are the best comics. so fun. But uh, Colin Quinn at the end of that. Oh, is, he's like, uh, what are you doing? Skankfest. What's that? Coachella for middles? <laughs> ah. <laughs> And then uh, I remember, I think, uh, what's his face? What's the guy with the voice? Florentine. Florentine. Yeah. He killed. It was, killed. So it was good. great. He, Judy Gold was good. He had one. He goes, everybody Judy makes. Judy Gold was good? Yeah. Watch was it. Really Judy good. Gold was the only one that bombed. Oh, well, I have long oh, COVID, God. so it's my memory so is way off. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Florentine goes, hey, everybody makes fun of Bonnie, but she moved here and she's living the American dream. She got dumb rich. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got a fucking hog, dude. It's uncomfortable. Really? Yeah, it's a problem. Does it change things between you and people when they find out about it? Or? Yeah, dudes have a problem with me more, so I try to like keep it under wraps. Cut this part out, and then uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then chicks, you know, they won't leave me alone. It's yeah. Annoying. How big is your penis? It's not about that. It's more about mass and like power. It really is. A big dude. He's got a big. Dude. Yeah. Or he's got a cock. In the truest sense of the word, he's a coxman. Yeah, he's got a cock. On him. I'd like to downplay it, but it's like you know. Yeah, it's, it's Jordan. How, you go to basketball, you can't be like, yeah, I'm all right. But like, stop. You're one of the yeah, best ever. Good. You know, mm -hmm. Lamont Jordan is a buddy of mine. Played over at uh, the park and whatever with some kids. He's like, you know, pretty much. So Francis, how do you feel about being in second place in the dick contest? <sighs> you downplayed yours. That's the only reason I upplayed mine. I don't know. <laughs> I feel good. I feel good about my chances. Yeah. I feel like you got a nice hog on That's you. That's what I said. Yeah. Yeah, I would think sure. so. What's your tuft like, though? Is it red? Uh, yeah. Of course yeah. it is. We, uh, yeah. Whoa. Scott is king. Of course it is, dude. His tuft red looks pubes? like fucking Little Orphan Annie's fucking afro, uh, bro. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> Look like Ron Weasley's goatee. Yeah. You know? It's tough to sing in Hard Knock Life, bro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Weird. People always yeah. ask me that. They're like, does the, the carpet match the drapes? That's the thing. That's what they say. Yeah, I'm like, now, well, why, what, who has drapes or carpet? I, well, where are we talking about here, Francis? I don't say this. I, I swear to God, I'm not saying this to bust your balls. It, are are ginger? I wouldn't even call you ginger. You're almost a blonde. Strawberry yeah, blonde. Yeah, strawberry blonde. Hair. Are your pubes almost translucent? I feel like when yeah. you get down to the pubes on with a hair color like yours, they're almost like see through or reflective. Like no, fishing, like fishing red. string. If you it's, rustle them at yes, night, do they yes, fishing? Yes. Yeah, like fishing it's, string. It's phosphorescent. Uh, no, it's like diving under a wave in, a, in an algae bloom. You know? Yeah, you see. Yeah, <laughs> it's all. It's a, well. Yes, right. Yeah, yeah. A firefly. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, you capture them in a jar and you bring them home and you're like, oh, they'll they twinkle tomorrow. Yeah, they twinkle. No, they're uh, it's 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 redder here than than here. Really? Yeah, because wow. these don't get sunlight. Can I get a good look? You can yeah, show me. Let me see your bush. I'm pretty trim right now. Let me table. take a gander. Show that bush. your pals and pubes. See that bush. Ew, <laughs> ew, <laughs> ew, <laughs> ew, dude. Don't ew, show me. Show your dick. Ew, bring it in. I brought it in pretty tight recently. I thought I was gonna have sex today. I thought I was gonna have sex with my girlfriend today. He's bald. Dude, his body is no pubes. He's just like a lady. He has a little bit of chest hair too, and it ends right where. Francis had a landing strip. You know, Francis. <laughs> you know, Shane. Yeah, dude. You look very really gross. Remember you the look Itell ridiculous. Joke? Remember the Itell joke? <laughs> the Itell joke when he, he would talk to... <laughs> there's a redhead walking through the crowd of the cellar and he goes, excuse me, miss. And she goes, yeah. And he goes, how long do we need to date before you felt comfortable with me calling you clown pussy? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I'm just eating upstairs. <laughs> Told me I had to go to the bathroom as well. Hey, you would do it again. So fucking jarred, dude. Again that jarred say, me. He would do it again where we would say fire bush. Yeah, <laughs> on the way back it out. Between clown pussy and fire yeah. bush. Hmm. It was so funny. Dude, Francis' dick root was crazy. You out of here? Oh, he's getting another. Oh, my yeah, God. He's got that fucking. Here we go. Dick V, dude. Mm. You saw that? Yeah, dude. It was uncomfortable. Yeah, it was yeah. crazy. Well, no hair Knock it off, there, Francis. Yeah, your Don't pubes. get mad at the bull for giving you the horns when you shouldn't <laughs> have been in the ring in the first place. Nah. Yeah. You oh. got <laughs> That's a good metaphor. So I think in that True. is that. The, the, the pubes are the horns. <laughs> the yeah. bull. You guys got in the ring. We got in the ring. Got but there was no horns. No. There, there were no, no horns. horns. Yeah, don't get mad at the bull for just having a fucking, trimmed down. Just a sleek torso. Oh, that was too sleek. Yeah, yeah it, was wild, it, was, it was arousing for Did us. Did you shave up? No, I go with the grain, but at some point, when you get to the base, you gotta you gotta come from the other side. Yeah. Do you shave your balls too? Yeah, yeah, it's yes yeah, or no, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's a tough one to get to, though. Was... Look, when you have orange pubic hair, 
<laughs> Listen to me. People describe orange hair as a as a shock of red hair. Yeah. If you had hair that was le- legitimately described as a mm-hmm. shock to yeah. people, you would do what you could. To and they're straight too, aren't they? Mitigate it. They're straight. Right? Yeah, yeah, I don't totally I'm straight. I'm not Ari. Are you kidding me? Straight hairs. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, straight that hairs. Joke. Okay. Nice. Um, Francis, my bigger question is. What happened after you killed the elders in your town? <laughs> <laughs> Destroy him. Destroy him. I don't even get, get it, him, but Francis. I laugh because I want to do it. Show to the courts. Like you look like Malachi. <laughs> These are your older references. You're an old man. Yes, Francis. <laughs> yeah, Francis. Francis so will kill you. The king of a reference of a movie that you might have heard of. Well, you all laughed at it, you fucking cunts. Fair, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty funny, funny on all our parts. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy damn real think... harsh stops yeah man well i like it harsh stops just harsh hang, stops just hang out time oh it's good hang bro mm. yeah. good episode episode 470 not no. bad you guys all want to do a shot together yeah of what strawberry liqueur oh tequila oh well you can do whiskey if you want i said strawberry liqueur yeah all right mm-hmm. strawberry liqueur you guys all some board shows? washington yeah Alabama. i'll do a shot of tequila can we do a shot of tequila you know, Matt, did, you don't have to. I don't care. Matt's not hey, much Hey, while you're up there, can you get us one, one of those sandwiches? No. <laughs> no, they can't have the sandwiches. Why can't we have the sandwiches? They can't have the sandwiches. What's with you and fucking Why can't don't you? Sandwiches. Is there any, do you throw them out if you don't have any left over? Or do you give yeah, them is, it like, is it like vaccines where you have to chuck them in the garbage because <laughs> instead of letting people have them? I'm going to come clean with you guys. Yeah. There were never any sandwiches. <laughs> what? It's just a thing we've been saying to people. No. We have no that. sandwiches. No, no I've seen them. <laughs> Bullshit. There's Bullshit. no way you came up with all those gay names for a joke. Huh? The Easty. This is the, yeah, the Southie. Shane, the Shane Gillis. That'd be nice. <laughs> and finally, now some good ideas. <laughs> where was that? <laughs> Dude, Shane, can you do a sketch where you do where you do uh, 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 dating on the spectrum and just you just act completely about like that. yourself? Yes, uh, that's exactly you and Kyla. Just that? Kyla be that, you be you. Dude, we with that talked. Face. We talked about me going on the Australian Love on the Spectrum and being like, my friend signed me up for it. I'm like, I don't know why I'm on this thing. <laughs> and then they're like, you want to play Twitch while we're waiting for our food? I'm like, yeah. Like every <laughs> single thing. They're like, you want to look at dinosaurs? Good. I'm like, yeah, I love dinosaurs. <laughs> What's Love on the Spectrum? It's a. Uh, it's the best show ever. Yeah. Well, it's number two. There it turns out there's a better one. All right, so this one is. Love, the number one show is called The Specials, and it's about a house full of people with Down syndrome mm-hmm. in England. They're partying. They're having fun. Yeah, okay. Number two is uh, Love on the Spectrum. It's on Netflix. It's about Australians with autism dating each other Trying in to. front of cameras. Okay. And it's great. And somebody submitted you for this, you're saying? No, that would have been yeah. the joke, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Someone didn't actually submit me but, for it. No, 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 but I'm <laughs> saying like... That's the rub. But you were like, no, I wouldn't do that, and then you were like, I'll play Twitch. While we <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I got you. I'm yeah, just slowly okay. realize that... It yeah, rules. Know, we you all know, unite on... You should do that. Things. There was one a reality show that came out about, about deaf people during, um, sort of dating and stuff. Did you see that one? No, that sounds funny. It's like Deaf You, I think it was called. <laughs> it's, it's deaf people fucking. It was called Shut the Fuck Up. <laughs> <laughs> Shut that part up, please. <laughs> please remove that. <laughs> please remove that. <laughs> yeah. So they were deaf and dating. There was a, there was was a cool. college. It was cool. They're all... They're signing everything and it's, uh, you know... It's so fascinating. There was, there was one organisms. guy who was only half deaf and so oh. everyone else would be giving their interviews or whatever, and they would be signed.